I'm, t I'm terrible at those type of questions. Th those questions are just set up for jokes. Yes. And which is what you want, I guess. Yes. Is, that, is that what you want, or do you want truth? Do you want, do you want, I like truth. Do you want I'm truth. Happy with truth. Do you want reality? What do you I'm want? I'm happy with like bone crushing, make you desperately sad truth. That's fine by me as well. Oh yeah, no, I'll give you that. Don't worry. <laughs> I'll, don't worry. If we're getting through all of this, oh, I'll oh, give it to no. you. Yeah. So we are in a pub in Dublin, and we managed to find a quiet, li quiet little nook. Mm -hmm. we've, had, we've, we've had a drink or two already. Oh, like have it. we? We've loosened her up. <laughs> Welcome. Hi. This is Dermot. You might know Dermot from such places as the Tri Channel. And <laughs> I'm where else? Game of where else? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We are going to do truth or drink. Honestly, it's just going to be truth and drink. Okay, so this is truth or drink or Patreon. We answer the question and tell the truth, or we drink, or if we decide we're going to answer it, but the answer is going to get me demonetized on YouTube. Gotcha. It goes on Patreon. That could be every question. <laughs> this, this may just be Patreon. This may just be a Patreon exclusive. And thank you to Manscaped for sponsoring this. Manscaped. And we'll talk about that more in a few minutes. Bare as can be down there, thanks to Manscaped. <laughs> Makes it look so, longer. Pick a card. Any card. card. Any card at all. <laughs> Do you have recurring fantasies that kind of trouble you or surprise you? And if so, what are they? Uh, like, I mean, every thought that enters my head troubles me. <laughs> for being totally honest. When it comes to fantasies, whatever your fantasy be, it shouldn't trouble you because it's a fantasy. Until you, until you make it real and it hurts people, then it shouldn't trouble you. It's a very mature response. As opposed to I don't know, as what opposed you to something entertaining. <laughs> just sorry, let me just give you a reaction shot to your cameras. <laughs> look at that one if you're gonna give a if you're gonna give a reaction shot, look at that one. I'm giving you options I'm giving you options. Tell us about a time you were shut down romantically. <laughs> when I was in secondary school, mm -hmm. you had to choose between doing art and French. Really? Yep. You can do so, both. No, nope, they were on the same time. I did time. both. Yeah. Okay, Mister. I went to a fancy school. I really. I didn't. went to a technical institution, and they said art and French are on the same time. Pick one. So I did art outside of school. Why would you do that to I yourself? I liked art. What? So did I, but Jesus. Anyways, there was a guy in my art class. Mm -hmm. I text him to invite him to the devs. I didn't call it the Debs, but you call it the Debs. Don't I don't, we call it the Grad. We call it the Grad as well, yeah. sorry. We're, the okay, we're both in the country. Of course. So yeah, I texted like him to invite him to the Grad. Yeah. And he just pretended he never got it. And then he I pretended to, he never got it. He never got it. And then I had to go to art class for the rest of the year pretending that I never sent it. Yikes. I basically got ghosted before ghosting was a thing. So was that the last time you were shut down romantically? It's been over a decade. <laughs> So you haven't had to deal with that sort of heartbreak? 15 years nearly since I've been romantically turned down. Same. <laughs> it's not a brag. I'm not bragging. No, but... Because I've got the brag about... I'm saying for me it's not a brag. I'm not the brag about. Describe your sex life with a movie title <laughs> and tell us your reasoning. I like movies, so I should, this should be Yes, this thing. should be your question. Did you ever see that, uh, the Eric Idle and Robbie Coltrane movie, Nuns on the Run? Would you believe, as soon as you said, have you ever seen, I knew I wouldn't have seen it. Have you ever seen Nuns on the Run? No. That'd be my sex life. Robbie Coltrane? Mm -hmm. Hagrid? Yeah. Wow. He wasn't always Hagrid. I, I understand that, but like, I obviously am not aware I of I also that. love the fact that you're focusing on the fact that Robbie Coltrane was in a movie before Hagrid, and not the fact that my sex life is Nuns on the Run. <laughs> oh yeah. So do you want to explain that joke, or...? I just, I've got a mad thing for nuns. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's like a Benny Hill sketch right. where I'm just chasing them around and they're like and running they're like I'm like come back little. sister I, I could try and answer honestly and be, and be yes could be a, that would be nice and it could be a lot more sad <laughs> if you want if you want the parameters of this game are totally okay how about you. how about extremely loud and incredibly close oh I love that one that's very clever <laughs> terrible film really awful Wow. Truly, truly horrific. Never film. seen it. Really bad. I've never seen it. Have you ever cheated on anyone? What were the circumstances? The answer is yes. And because he cheated on me first and we were 17 years old, I rang him the next morning and I was like, it's over. And also, I kissed someone else and I'm like, fuck you. And he was like, so you cheated on me? And I was like, no, you. Shut up. You, how dare you make me the bad guy? <laughs> In fairness, he really threw that back at you, didn't he? <laughs> uh, this is such a dermot question. <laughs> What the fuck is that 
mean? <laughs> yeah, but right now. What movie or TV character do I remind you of? And I expect an answer, Mr. I know so much about movies. I don't, I don't know so much about movies. I love the movies that I love. Uh, and I have a lot of useless movie trivia. But to ask me what movie character... Oh, Chewbacca! Why? Because he's really loyal. Because he's a, a really loyal he's, guy. He's loyal and he's hairy in all the places you'd least expect. All right. <laughs> Actually, speaking of hair, <laughs> Dermot and I actually tried to segue into this sponsored segment in the moment, but uh, poor Dermot was just too excited by the, by the box. Uh, <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> Exactly. Sorry, both toner. Yeah, spritz your goods for a pick me up. Well, I'm at the age where my balls are so low that I'm going to use the whole bottle to pick them up. What is manscaping? I'm so glad you asked. Manscaping is taking care of yourself for you and the ones you love. Manscaped is going beyond the groin. Stop it. And changing the way that we think about skin and hair care for men. It's not just for your balls. Manscaped sent me a box. Package would have made more sense there, Claire. Package. <laughs> ah, box means a lady package here in Ireland. <laughs> anyway, you save more when you bundle, so let's unbox this package. Stop it. Manscaped sent me the platinum package with eight of the best-selling essentials. Not just one, but two trimmers. One for each end. The ultra-premium shower products. And the new underarm stick deodorant. Can you see it? Also in the bundle, I got two free gifts. Manscaped boxer briefs, anti-chafing, and the Shed luxury travel bag. So lads, I encourage you to go to manscaped.com or click the link down below in my description and use the code CLISAIR for 20% off, free international shipping, and two free gifts. How good is that? This is better than what I use. That's crazy. I'm gonna single-handedly bring Manscaped to Ireland. Ladies of Ireland, you thank me later. Yeah, so how nice is that? It's lovely, it's very nice, yeah. It? it is very nice. To Manscaped. <laughs> to Manscaped. Hey, everyone, every man should try it. Okay, what's the meanest thing you've ever seen me do? Surely you have a good answer to this. To be mean to someone okay. suggests you're doing it to hurt someone. I can't, I don't think you would hurt someone intentionally. I think you've probably heard people unintentionally. Yeah, unintentionally big time. But, uh, because you're an honest person, but I don't think you, I don't think you'd go out of your way to be mean to someone to hurt someone. Does that that's make sense? Very nice. Yeah, and that's a very nice answer. Well, that's that true, answer. right? Yep. Have you ever been in love? How do you know? <laughs> I'm not 100% sure, but I think I have. I married him anyway, so we're together 15 years. You're saying people, everyone who's married is in love? No. Yeah, exactly. Not. Uh, looking for a weird but true story about an inappropriate boner. <laughs> so, like maybe a lady boner, either? Unless you want to tell one, I... pick a different question. <laughs> That's like, I could say, like, fucking mass, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like... What's the most unreasonable thing you've ever completely lost your shit over? As in, I unreasonably lost my shit, or the thing that was I lost my shit over was unreasonable? But then, then, then what's unreasonable is my reaction. Yes, what's the most unreasonable thing you've lost your shit over? But see, that's a, that, see, you know, no, see, see, okay. Okay. Um, the, 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 answer, the answer could be this question, because I'm about to lose my shit over, an un, I'm, for un, okay. I'm about to unreasonably okay. lose my shit, because the wording of that question is ambiguous. What's the most unreasonable thing you've ever completely lost your shit over? I would word, the way I would word that is, what is the thing that was so unreasonable that you lost your shit, completely lost your shit over? That doesn't make sense. Or, the way you're explaining it doesn't make sense. That the way that you or, described that. Hold on, hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is the thing that you completely lost your shit over it and you were unreasonable for? Okay, that's. Do you both see of how those, the two. I are, see but they're the different difference. Things. I see the difference, but both of those questions are incredibly clunkily worded. And I I'm feel like. I'm fucking drunk! And I literally <laughs> just saw the fucking question. I'm not a fucking writer. Get the fuck. If we were stuck on a desert island, would we become lovers? Desert Island, probably. I'd say we would, yeah. Yeah, yeah we definitely would, yeah. I mean, yeah. familiarity breeds contempt. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you were saying it's familiarity breeds contempt. What ethical boundaries are you happy to cross? What ethical boundaries would you be willing to cross? Yeah, I wouldn't murder anyone. I'd murder someone to save someone. I, I wouldn't. 
embezzled. Embezzled? I'm oh, sorry, hold on. I was about to say, if a guy came in here and pointed a gun at your head, and my only option was to stab him in the heart to stop him, you were saying, well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't embezzle any money. Yeah, I wouldn't stop. <laughs> I don't understand what the two things have to do with each other. And you said I would murder a person for you. You were saying I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't begrudge a, a, a corporation of their money. Yeah, I wouldn't. I would kill wow. somebody to save somebody I love, but I wouldn't embezzle wow. in general. That's what I'm saying. With what hilarious story about me do you regale people? I, I don't think I have any. Oh. So you never tell anyone else a story about me? That's nice, Dermot. No. That's fine. If I had a hot brother or sister, would you let them seduce you? Yes. Okay. No, because with a closer friend, it'd be weird. As in like someone I've known... F no, as in someone... We're going to do a very quick round of what the Crack do? Pack, which is the card game I invented. Oh, yeah. So the question for me then is, what was the best lie you ever told? But I lie all the time. Do you? Yeah. That's where we're very different. When it suits me, I lie all the you time. You lie all the time. Yes. So I white lie to save people's feelings. I lie, like, subtly to change situations. <laughs> My favourite. It sounds really bad when you put it like that, but it's like, it's not. I lie to get ahead. I lie to, uh, uh, to damage other people. I honestly, and this is not me trying to fucking make myself look good, I genuinely try as much as I can not to lie. The worst I think I do is lie by omission, in that I just won't I say otherwise. Yeah, I try to be as honest as I can. Is that good or bad? No, that's good. That's good. Are you lying now? Are you lying right now? Is that, <laughs> I, I can never I trust. Might be. I can never I trust be. you again. You, you, you said that's good for you. <laughs> I guess. You're a nice boy. <laughs> now, next time we're in a social setting where there's loads of people around, yes. Try to see how I am with everyone there and see if you can tell if I like the person or not. Okay. How about that? See, I'd li I'd like, I'd see me saying that I will do that is a lie. I don't want to even remember this conversation. So there you go, there's a, there's fine, a little white fine, lie fine. A, that I told you fine. makes you happier. Next social gathering we're at, I'll say at the very beginning of the night, I'll say, keep a lookout for this. Okay. That's yeah. a deal. I'll I do will that. lie and say that I'll do oh, it and I won't do it. What would you warn people about me before they meet me? So what would I warn people about you before they meet you? What would you warn people about me before they meet me? I think if you were to meet friends of mine that don't already know you, mm -hmm. I might warn them that you can be quite dark. I can be dark? Yeah, I'd be like, listen, Dermot's humor is quite dark. Just like, dark? Yeah. Really? Just to warn them. Addendum to the question. If you were to talk about me to the people, to someone that we both know, mm -hmm. would you say, hey, do you think Dermot's a bit dark? No. And do you think, no, but do you think they'd agree with you? No. Do an impression of someone in the room. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry, did you have it? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? I do a much better impression than try telling one in the moment. I just, for whatever reason, I can't do it here. I would <laughs> hope you do do a better one of me. <laughs> We're going to have to wrap it up because they're turning the lights off. Right, okay. It's been fun. Thank you so much. I look forward to, uh, to you sending me the link to the uh, edited video and me saying, we can't put any of this out. Mm. And say, I, 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 I'm not okay with it. And going, I don't even have five minutes to use it. Well, <laughs> think of all they're going to see on Patreon. Yeah. Like, they're going to see so much on Patreon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Money's worth is on Patreon. Oh my God. You should be, you should work in marketing. <laughs> Manscaped. <laughs> it makes it look longer. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one. So on, so on. I hate putting our heads together because the size difference is is immense. I've never thought of it before. It's but look, fucking... It actually how have you never thought of it before? It's like, I don't think about the size of my head constantly. We've played plenty of pictures together and my head is a fucking... Literally, I've never it's, noticed it's this. An, oh, God. Turn okay, off bye. the cameras. <laughs>